Hi, for today's topic, I will teach you about evaluation on functions. But before that, to evaluate a function, what we do here is we substitute the input or the given number or expression for the function's variable, placeholder or x. In here, we replace the x with the number or expression. Generally speaking, it quickly states which element of the function is to be examined. So let's have examples for you to further understand it. On your example number one, we have h of t is equal to the absolute value of t plus 2 plus 3. What we need to do is to find h of 6. So if we are looking for the value of h of 6, meaning to say the value of t here would be 6. So let's solve. So in here, we wanted to know what is h of 6. What we do here is we change all the variable t into 6. So this would be instead the absolute value of 6 plus 2 plus 3. Then we evaluate. So this would be absolute value of 8 plus 3. And the absolute value of 8 is equal to 8 plus 3. And that equals positive 11. Just a short review, when we say absolute value, that is the distance of your number from 0. So for example, on the number line, wherein the middle part would be 0, when we say 8, that is the distance of 8 from 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When we say negative 3, what is the absolute value of negative 3? We are talking about the distance of negative 3 from 0. So in here would be 1, 2, 3. The absolute value of 3 is equal to positive 3. When we say distance, we don't use any negative numbers. We always use positive numbers. Okay, let's proceed with your example again. So next would be, how about if I wanted to know what is h of negative 8? So what you're going to do here is to change all of the values of t into negative 8. So this would be absolute value of negative 8. Now, by the way, this is a different example, okay? So absolute value of negative 8 plus 2, we are using the same function here, plus 3. Then we simplify the absolute value of negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 plus 3. Then the absolute value of negative 6 would be positive 6 plus 3. And h of negative 8 equals 9. Okay, let me give you one more example for this function. So for you not to be confused, I will rewrite the function here. h of t is equal to absolute value of t plus 2 plus 3. Uh, I wanted to know what is h of 0. So in here, we substitute 0 on all the values of t. So this will be absolute value of 0 plus 2 plus 3. So this would be absolute value of 2 plus 3. That is equal to 2 plus 3. And that equals 5. So meaning to say, h of 0 would be equal to 5. Let's have another example. So in here, we wanted to find out what is g of a is equal to 3 raised to 3a minus 2. What we are going to do is to find g of 1. So what you are going to do, since this is variable a, we will change a into 1. So this would be 3 raised to 3 times 1 since this is a minus 2 and that equals 3 raised to 3 minus 2 that would be 3 raised to 1 any number raised to 1 is the number itself so I mean to say g of 1 is equal to 3 how about if i have if i wanted to know what is g of 2 so we substitute 2 on your a. So this will be 3 raised to 2, uh, raised to 3, in, uh, rather multiplied by 2 minus 2. And that equals 3 raised to 6 minus 2. And that equals 3 raised to 4 
3 raised to 4 would be 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That equals 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. Times 3 is 81. So this is equal to 81. G of 2 is equal to 81. One last example. Let's say I wanted to know what is g of 0. So we substitute 0. This would be 3 raised to 3 times 0 minus 2. That equals 3 raised to 0 minus 2. And that would be 3 raised to negative 2. Take note of this. If you have negative uh, exponent, what you're going to do is to get the reciprocal of the number to make it positive. It's because we don't allow negative exponents. So this would be equal to 1 over 3 raised to 2 to make it positive. Then what we will do next is to evaluate 3 raised to 2. And that equals 1 over 9. So g of 0 is equal to 9. 1 over 9. Let's have other example. So in here, we have wt is equal to negative 2t plus 1. What we wanted to know is the value of W of negative 7. So this would be negative 2 times negative 7 plus 1. Negative 2 times negative 7, that would be positive 14 plus 1. So this equals to 15. Or the value of W of negative 7 is 15. Okay, next example. We wanted to know what is the g of negative 6 out of g of x is equal to 3x minus 3. So we substitute it here. So 3 times negative 6 minus 3. This equals to negative 18. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18 minus 3. Therefore, g of negative 6 is equal to negative 18. Negative 18 minus 3 would be negative 21. Okay, next. We wanted to know what is the value of h of 4. So we substitute 4 on all the values of n. So this would be negative 2 times 4 squared plus 4. Take note of this. We need to evaluate the exponent first before we multiply. So this would be negative 2 times 16 because 4 squared is 16 plus 4. Negative 2 multiplied by 16 is negative 32 plus 4. And negative 32 plus 4 would be negative 28. So therefore, h of 4 is equal to negative 28. Okay, let's proceed with this example. If you experience this one, we wanted to know what is h of negative 2. Given that your function is h of t is equal to negative 2, this is multiplied by 5 raised to negative t minus 1. So we just substitute it here. So 2 multiplied by 5 raised to negative of negative 2 because uh, we wanted to know h of negative 2 minus 1. Then we simplify. This would be negative 2 multiplied by 5. Then negative times negative 2 is positive 2 minus 1. This would be negative 2 multiplied by 5 raised to 1. Again, any number uh, raised to 1 is the number itself. So this would be negative 2 multiplied by 5 and simply negative 10. So meaning to say h of negative 2 is equal to negative 10. Let me give you another example for this one. Like, for example, I wanted to know what is h of negative 1. So we will use the same function, okay? If we wanted to know h of negative 1, we will substitute it here. So negative 2 multiplied by 5 minus or negative of negative 1 minus 1. Then we will simplify. So this would be negative 2 multiplied by 5 raised to positive 1 minus 1. And that equals negative 2 multiplied by 5 raised to 0. Take note of this class, dear students. If you have any number, any variable raised to 0, 
that would be equal to 1. Again, take note of this. If you have an exponent of 0, your value would be 1 and 1 only. So this would be equal to negative 2. Then 5 raised to 0, that's 1. So negative 2 times 1. And that is equal to negative 2. So again, I will point this one out. If you have x raised to 0, that is 1. If you have y raised to 0, that is 1 also. If you have 100 raised to 0, that is 1 also. Again, any number, any variable raised to 0 would be equal to 1. Okay, next example. So in here, we wanted to know what is f of negative 8. So that would be negative 8 quantity squared minus 3 times negative 8. So we evaluate it here. Negative 8 squared, that's positive 64. Negative 3 times negative 8, that's positive 24. Then we add them up. This would be equal to 88. So f of negative 8 of f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x is equal to 88. Okay, next example. We have p of negative 1. And the function would be p of a is equal to negative 4 raised to 3a. So this would be negative 4 raised to 3 times negative 1. So this would be negative 4 raised to negative 3. Again, we, all, we have the negative exponent. What you will do here is to find the reciprocal of the number. So this would be... 1 over negative because we have negative here. So 4 raised to 3. It becomes positive now since you get the, uh, you make the exponent uh, positive or you get the reciprocal of it. So this would be equal to negative 1 over 4 raised to 3 would be 4 times 4 is 16. Then 16 times 4, that would be equal to 64. So P of negative 1 would be negative 1 over 64. Okay, to test uh, if you already know how to do evaluation on functions, you can use these examples in assessing yourself. So what you're going to do is to get your paper and pen, then try to solve this one and show your answers on the comment box and let me check yours. So, that would be all for today. Thanks for watching and that is our math minute for today. See you on the next video and please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be notified every time I upload videos. Again, thank you. God bless.